Yes, hello, and welcome back to LJ TV. Now, I'm going to take a different turn today. But before I get into that, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel after the video is over. And today, I just want to discuss something. I watched a video called This Is America by uh, Childish Gambino. Now, this video has been trending, and I got to, I'm so sick of hearing about Kanye, Kanye, Kanye that I needed like a little outlet. And I came across this video that was very, very interesting to me. Like after hearing about the song for so much, I wanted to see and hear what these, what, the, what everyone was talking about. And like in the first 30 seconds of the video, like it had me shook. Like I seriously was not expecting to see someone get shot at point blank rage in the back of the head, no less. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a, a, a depiction of, like, what literally goes on in America these days. We see it on TV. We hear it about it in the news, like, all the time. Somebody getting shot or an unarmed black man getting shot and killed by the police, yada, yada, yada. And just the other day, I want to plug this in, some cop had pulled a gun on someone that was buying a pack of, uh, mint, what was it, Mentos? And he thought he was stealing it, and he told the cop, like, I'll pay for it, like, right in front of him he pulls a gun out on him anyway and says put it back and it's like dude like chill out man but that'll be for something later and uh if you don't live here in the good old us of a uh check out the video to get a sum of what actually goes on here because yes we have became a third world country and then we're packed full of violence, but we try to blame it on uh, Islam and Mexicans and everything else. But we got domestic terrorism every day here. So, yeah. Um, sure, we've all, like, heard the whole chant, you know, make America great again and all this stuff. <laughs> but I always have the question of what made America great in the first place. What was so great about the states in the first place? We're, like, derived on you know, slavery and uh, taking the land from the Indians and just, ma like, massacres and just, like, what was so great to begin with? Please let me know. Um, now, how the video portrayed society, like, especially black society, was, like, so spot on. It was, like, it was just plain scary. Like, from the dances he did all the way to the end where he's, like, running down the hallway. Now, I'm going to give my like my own personal breakdown on the video, as many people have tried to do. Now, I want to start with like the beginning of him uh, wearing neutral color pants, him being shirtless with nappy hair. I found that to uh, like be a symbol in itself. Like I thought it meant like he represents you can be anyone. You can be a black guy with nappy hair. You can be uh, someone with nice pants, nice shoes, commit any sort of crime, and... Like, after the cold blood is shot in the back of the head, and I seen how the gun was, like, kind of carefully placed in the boy's hands, you know, wrapped in a red rag and, and carried off. And then the guy that was shot, they just, like, kind of just drug him off, like, whatever. And then he just starts dancing. And that's how, like, social media takes over. When something bad happens like that, we got these, like, stupid music videos in social media that kind of distracts Distracts you from what goes on. And now I've heard this, uh, a stupid song the other day, and I couldn't believe what I was listening to. It was it was this guy who was keep saying Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci. I'm like, what what is this? And everybody's dancing to it. I think it was little little Uzi, no, little Chump, Crump, Dump, Pump, whatever it is. I I just like. <laughs> What is what is this crap? You can call me an old head if you want to or whatever. I like '90s hip hop and some of the early 2000s, and you know some '70s music, funk, and all that stuff. And this new stuff, I just, I just can't get jiggy with it for real. Like the dances, like most people don't even know what these dances even come from. They're like derived from African culture, honestly. But that's besides the point. I don't want to uh, rant on about today's music. <laughs> Now, um, let's see, the choir, the choir part of the video where he walks in, he kind of peeks in and he just busts through the door and there's a choir, they're singing, they're clapping their hands, 
you know, kind of singing on a high note. And then seconds later, he grabs the freaking, what is that, an AK or something, and just guns them all down, like, without flinching or nothing or no remorse at all. And that was the, a direct reference to, uh, what was that, the 2015 shooting where uh, Dylan Roof walked into a church. You know, they were having Bible study. I think it was in their basement. He just guns them all down. But the, the kicker of that one was, when they took him to Burger King to get him a get him a hamburger and fries after he just murdered what was it, like nine people or something like that, like <laughs> like really this is this is what happens in America, this is, this is where people want to come to this country to have freedom. We're really not free as you think. Now on the onward to the next vid on to the next part of the video, yo you got him dancing and all that, and then he, if you notice the lyrics he says. This is a silly, that's a tool. Now, I had, uh, like, two opinions on that. The first one being, like, that in recent years, the cell phone uh, has been, like, an invaluable asset in recording police brutality. Because, like, without it, most of the known cases will still be unknown today. So, like, when they were out there recording cell phones or even have the uh, the body cams and all that, that all ex before that even existed, there was so much chaos that we didn't know about, and now the cell phone has been the uh, one of the main tools in recording unjustly deaths and arrests and things like that. And the second I thought I had on that was him uh, referencing the Sacramento shooting of uh, Mr. Uh, Stephon Clark, where he had a cell phone. And the cops mistook the cell phone for uh, a quote-unquote tool, which, if you don't know, was a slang for a gun. And they also said uh, they thought he had a crowbar. And I just thought that little bit was interesting that he would say, this is a cell, this is a tool. That's why I had, like, two different takes on that. And um, if most people noticed the guy riding on a white horse in the background after those lyrics are over, this is a cell, this is a tool. You can see the guy in the background with the riding on the white horse across the, across the screen, which is a, a clear, a clear, clear meaning of uh, Revelations chapter 6, verse 8. And I'll read it to you. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that set on him was death, and hell followed him. And power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with beasts of the earth. So that was a clear, a clear cut meaning. If you, if you didn't catch that, I, I don't know. Um, last thing he could be, he could be seen, uh, walking down a long dark, hall, or not running, not walking, but running, uh, down the long hallway. Uh, some articles I read think that, you know, it has something to do with the movie called get out. And him kind of being in a sunken place. If you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. Um, but what I had thought of was a song called Run, Inward Run. And this is by uh, Kid Tanner and his Skillet Liquors. And this song came out in uh, 1927. So check that, check that song out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if I missed anything, just let me know. Drop a like. Uh, I just want to engage with you. I, I want to know the opinions of what you think about this video and what it means to you. So this is LJ TV. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.